you're gonna need a snack or a drink. I got mine. I'm just saying, this is really long. Hi guys, I am here today to share with you my haul for the USA. I went shopping when I was home with um, visiting my family for Thanksgiving and I bought some stuff and I want to show it to you today. Um, I bought a lot of Christmas gifts for my kiddos. I'm not going to share with you that because that would make a ridiculously long haul already longer um, and my son's awake. I don't want him to see gifts. So I'm going to share with you kind of all of the decor stuff, some gifts that um, I got from um, my mom and we're just going to get going. Oh, and I'm not going to try and make this store specific so you're not going to see all the Target stuff at once and stuff like that. It's just, it's kind of all random and a mess. And I actually had put some things away already so I had to go like undo my displays to share with you um, my haul. So if I find things that I bought after I've completed the video, I'll go ahead and I'll attach it to the end of the video if it's not updated or... Um, I'll share with you on Instagram. Let's get going. Okay, so I was so excited to head to Target. It's my favorite store of all time. I love it. Um, and so I was really excited to hit the dollar spot and found me something. So I got the truck pillow. I'm so loving this little guy. And on the back, it's a red and black buffalo check. Oh, here it comes. Mommy. Here comes trouble. What? And then I also got this um, grain sack style pillow from the Target Dollar Spot as well. I think these were $5 each. You know that I need pillows. I don't have a lot of pillows in my house, and so I was really, really excited to find these. The truck pillow was the only one available, and there was only one more of these. I could have, I should have maybe got the other one, but I don't decorate with a lot of red except at the holidays so I didn't want to have to store more than a couple pillows. Okay. So then at Hobby Lobby, I wish I could have spent so much more time there because I fell in love with so much stuff and I feel like there's a million things that I missed. So I only picked up a couple things but I got this sign for Aubrey's room. It says, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm pretty sure I'm going to put this in her room. If I don't, I'm going to do um, a gallery wall in my hallway. I have one wall that doesn't have much on it yet. And um, I might do like motivational quotes. You'll see the next one I'm going to share with you and some photos of my family. So we'll see. Because her room doesn't really have that taupey gray in it. We'll see. Anyways. And then this sign, children only have one childhood. I mean, I need reminded of this constantly because I get stressed out as a mom and I need this reminder. So this was perfect. Um, this sign was $14.99 and it was 50% off. And then this other one was uh, $11.99 and it was 50% off as well. I also got, I'll just tell you what it is because he's lurking around, but I got a really um, around... Um, fabric cloth bin for Colt and it's a whitish cream sort of color and then there are um, navy blue Tyrannosaurus Rexes on it. He's obsessed with dinosaurs right now and I'm so excited to give that to him for his birthday or for Christmas. So then I got one last sign at Hobby Lobby and I love this one. Um, we almost hung it up but I decided to wait and show you. Um, this is what it is. Um, and in case it doesn't, in case you couldn't read it, it says, You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. Deuteronomy 28 6. Um, and we are going to put this above our board and batten. And I'm going to put um, black barn stars on either side, like a, a medium size and then a smaller one. So, so excited. Um, so, this was originally $35. However, it had a yellow sticker on it. That made it $17.50. I cannot find things like that here in Canada for that kind of price. Hello, hello. Okay, so next. 
Okay, so we're back at Target. <laughs> and I wish I was back at Target. Um, I got the... Oh, that needs ironed. I need... I, I got the burlap... It's not burlap. It's the grain sack style runner. Jeez Louise. That matches the pillows. So um, that's going to go on my big old kitchen table. Dining room table. Um, I love that. And then I got three of these little houses. So I have a thing for cardboard houses. Um, I have been collecting them for the past couple years, and they're kind of all the rage this year. Love them. So I have a big display of some of my cardboard houses on the bookshelf in my living room. And then opposite on that wall, um, I, they're all sort of white, and I did like a lot of white trees and reindeer and things. Um, and so opposite that, I didn't have any more white houses. So when I saw these, I was really excited. So I got um, three different styles. So of course they're not cardboard, they're like ceramic. Um, and they, I hate the way they feel. Ugh. Yeah, because they make me, make me feel funny. Um, but you can stick a tea light inside. Of course, battery operated people. We don't want to burn our houses down. Um, and I got one more. So I am going to get some battery operated tea lights and stick them inside. But I also got something else that I'll show you. And this is the other one. And these were $3 each. I also picked up... Let's see if I can find it really quick. Probably not. Oh, yes. These um, starry lights. There's only 10. Oh, it requires two AA batteries. Good thing I bought some. But I'm going to kind of drape those in between the, um, the houses to make it glow because goodness knows we need all the twinkle lights at Christmas. Um, and then also at Target, I picked up this um, gift sack. So I can show you a little closer. It says, do not open until December 25th. Um, this was $3. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet, but apparently I'll put a gift in it. Um, and then this is something that my mom made me. She had um, my Christmas gift all put together, and I'll show you that as well, but this is just on top. My mom is a quilter. She's incredible. Um, her work is beautiful and flawless. Like She's amazing. Um, but she made me this little... Um, snowman wall hanging. There isn't anything to hang up and I really don't have a spot to hang it. So what I'm going to do with this little guy is I'm actually going to, I think, put it in Aubrey's room and um, let her dolls kind of sleep under it for Christmas. And then speaking of Aubrey, she needed um, a dress for Christmas and I had um, initially found a beautiful dress at the children's place that I was going to get for her. However, I foolishly was looking at the USA website and not the Canadian one. And this dress was $55 originally. I mean, you've got to be kidding me. $55 for a child's dress is un unacceptable. Like, it's that's ridiculous. So anyways, of course they knock their prices down considerably. And even at... Um, a 50% off sale, it was still $27, and that is just too much for me to spend on a dress. So, I found this one at Target. It's the Cat and Jack brand. It's so, so pretty. Um, I love it so, so much, and she has a little white cardigan that will um, go over her shoulders, because why do they not put sleeves on children's Christmas dresses? Like, it's winter for Pete's sake. I don't know. Clearly I have a thing with Christmas dresses. Anyways, this was $23.99 originally, but all of the um, clothes on Black Friday were 30% off, so I think it was around $17. So I was happy with that. I love it. And Colt, excuse me, Colt has a red sweater um, and black pants that he's going to wear for Christmas, so they'll go together really well. Okay, so um, we went to Home Goods and I fell in love with it, of course. But we do have something similar here. It's Home Sense, which is the same thing. It's just a different name. 
Um, and I got my tree skirt, so I will insert a picture of my Christmas tree and you can see the tree skirt. It was only $20. I think it's so beautiful. Um, and then I was looking for a Ray Dunn Christmas mug. And they did have two packs of Naughty and Nice. Um, I wasn't super crazy about them. I wanted one that said Merry Christmas or Jingle or something else. I wasn't, you know, super crazy about that. But I did find this other beautiful mug. Um, it was $5.99. And it says it's the most wonderful time of the year. And it's in um, gold, if that's not showing up very well. And there's a little snowflake inside. And a little spoon on the side. How stinking cute. So I was really happy about that. If I don't end up finding a Ray Dunn mug, then this will this will do me just fine. Um, What else do we have here? Okay, so back to Aubrey again. Um, I put together a Christmas outfit for her. Um... She's got, you know, programs and different things uh, coming up and then just an outfit for the holidays for any little party she goes to. So these I picked up at Walmart. They are um, red sparkly pants. The, gold, the glitter is, I think it's gold glitter. And these were $3.67. I don't think that they were on sale. And, they, and then to go with it, I got this little shirt. It was $4.97. And it's uh, the Gur Animals Lamp. Gur Animal? Gur Animal? Gur Animals? I don't know. It's it's the animal brand from Walmart. And so it just has this lace detailing on the top. I'm not sure if the camera's really picking that up. But um, I think she's going to look so cute. So that is that. And then, and then this is just in here. My sister... Um, gave me this. This used to be my niece's, but this is um, a little top for Aubrey. It's a tunic. It's from Carter's. And then... This is kind of like Christmas going through all this stuff because I've literally not really put any of this out yet and I forgot some of the stuff I bought. Um, so I picked up this little block uh, from Hobby Lobby for $4.99 and it says you are loved. So this particular brand here, um, you can find these at Hobby Lobby. It's just like this hand written, hand calligraphy stuff. I, I think before I ever went to Hobby Lobby because I'd been in there before and they didn't have this stuff, um, I would order this brand on Zulily. It's a brand called Collins, and I have my alert set that if they ever go on, that I will get an update. So I have several signs in my house already from this Collins brand, um, and some Christmas things, and so I love it. Uh, so it's awesome to see it at um, Hobby Lobby and to be able to pick it up because there's one thing that I love having in my house, and it's it's just words of affirmation and words of encouragement and um, inspiring quotes and things like that. Coffee break! Okay. So this bag, this bag is stocking stuffers. <laughs> I'm not going to go through all that. I will have a stocking stuffer video coming up very, very soon. I don't remember buying this, and I don't know who gave it to me. Sisters, was this you? Let me know. I don't know. But this is really exciting, and I'm going to give this to Colt today. So I got these cute little napkins from Walmart, 97 cents. Yeah, I think that was for my sister. My mom got the kids an advent calendar. This is from Aldi's. So my mom said that when they were kids, um, the, th the three of them, her brothers, her brother and sister and her, um, all had to share one advent calendar. And so she got each of the families one advent calendar in order to share. And I don't know how my kids are going to do with that because Aubrey's will share very well, but Colt doesn't understand that concept yet. So um, it'll be interesting. We're going to do that today because it's December 1st. Okay, so every year I buy each of 
everyone in my family um, a Christmas ornament. My mother-in-law always did that, and so I'm carrying on that tradition. And this was mine for the year. I picked it up at Target. It's home for the holidays. Can it just be any more appropriate? I'm so, so loving this. Now, we probably won't get there for Christmas, but um, Thanksgiving counts. So my mom gave, oh, well, I'm just going to show you. My mom gave me this big basket. Um, and inside was a bunch of goodies. And so I'm going to show you some of them. Uh, she gave me this Philosophy uh, Vanilla, Sweet Vanilla Fig um, Body Lotion, Body Souffle. And it smells so good. Oh, it smells really Really good. I wouldn't think like fig would be all that sweet smelling, but it is, it's really, really beautiful. And then she gave me a fresh balsam bath and body works candle. And funny enough, I haven't burned a candle in minimum five years, maybe six. I used to be a candle addict, but then once I got into Scentsy, I got rid of candles. I had um, sort of a dangerous experience with a candle, um, a couple of them, so I kind of got rid of all of them. I think I threw away 60 candles when we were getting ready to move back in our house because they were, like, used. I couldn't donate them. Um, anyways, this smells like trees, and it smells really lovely. So I'm going to put this out, and I'll probably burn it. I'm not usually a tree fan, but when it comes to Christmas, I do like the smell of, like, balsam and spruce and pine, and I like it a little bit because it does, it brings the outside in. Oh, um, my mom bought my, uh, Aubrey a Cabbage Patch doll. I had a Cabbage Patch doll when I was a kid. In 1983, my mom was able to get me one. I was a year old, um, for Christmas, and... Um, a co-worker of hers had bought uh, two of them and she let my mom buy one from her or give gave her one I'm not sure but during that craze of couch patches I got a couch patch and my mom said that I barely paid any attention to it but my sister fell in love with it so my sister ended up getting one too mine my cabbage patch was Glenna Adrienne or it was Adrienne Glenna, but I couldn't say Adrienne, so I always called her Glenna. And my sister's was Corey Agatha. So anyways, Aubrey has really wanted a Cabbage Patch doll, so for Christmas my mom got her one. And the name is Dina Dana, and this is her little birth certificate. We've been looking for this because she's been sleeping with her Cabbage Patch all ever since we got her. There's a picture of her on the fridge, too, because um, she drew pictures. She loves her. Um, and then... So my mom, again, handmade um, the kiddos' pillowcases. So this one is Colt's. I just, I love that fabric. It's so perfect. And this, I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but it's little snowflakes. And then this is the one for Aubrey. Oh my gosh, I'm like dead. I love it so much. It's called penguins. Penguin is my favorite word. I love it. So cute. Um, and then she picked me up this uh, Jingle Jingle notepads. So this is stuff I actually have to like stick out because it's it's time. It's December first. And then this cute little notepad as well. This, I think, probably came from the Target dollar spot. I like the little little line there. So then she got the kids' coloring books. So this one is Colt's, which is so perfect. And then this is Aubrey's, which again is so perfect. She has been wearing a Santa hat to school for the past week. She loves Christmas. So the rest is just um, gifts. I'm not going to get into all that. <laughs> okay, so then when we were doing our shopping in some of the little country shops that we like to go to, um, I filmed uh, a shop with me type video in the stores. Um, I didn't get too much. Um, there, I just remembered something that's in our truck. Um, I didn't get too, too much. Um, 
I'm still not finding anything that I was really looking for. However, I did find this. It's a um, vintage enamelware pan. And it's been used. So, um, my mom used to have these uh, in our like our bathroom, and my sister did too, which is what made me want to get one. But my mom would keep um, girly stuff in there, and my sister keeps her toilet paper in it. So I don't really have room in my bathroom. I just kind of have it sitting under a little table in my kitchen right now. But um, yeah, I love um, enamelware bowls and pots and things like that. And that was $8. So there's one thing in the truck that hasn't come out yet, and I don't know if it will before I edit this and upload it, but I bought a vintage sled, and it is awesome. Silly me, I picked the bigger of the two that were available, and it barely fit in my sister's car. We were juggling with it the whole shopping experience. Um, you'll see it in my Christmas tour, so be on the lookout for that. It was $26. And then I got this little setup. So these pieces were individual, but I put them together. So it's, I've had this little enamelware plate, here I'll just show you, and um, it's got hearts cut out of it. I've had this and I bought it at one of the little shops that um, I was shopping at. <laughs> um, but then I found this really pretty little wreath. I think it's gorgeous. It was $4.95. It's very tiny. Um, and you could, of course, put like a little candle in. Um, but I've put this little enamelware um, cup in it. And there's stars that are cut out. And it was $3.50. So I'll put like a battery operated tea light in that. So I've kind of just paired them all together. It's a little crooked, but that. And then along the lines of tiny little things, my sister gave me this little cup, and it's red rimmed. She was actually going to throw this away. She didn't want it, and I was like, are you kidding me? That's adorable. So I've got this um, sitting on my kitchen counter. And then at the one store, I picked up these little mini snowflakes. So they were $1.75 for the two. I actually have a bunch of these already. They're painted white with glitter on them. Um, but I picked up two more because I already had some and I like to use them on my mini trees. Here's what they... I don't know. I don't know if that's going to show. Um, there, maybe you can see it against my shirt better. Um, I already have a bunch of these. In fact, here's a little a baggie full. So I just wanted to get a couple more. I maybe should have got one more bag of these. But funny enough, I spent exactly, I spent all the money I had but $2. And because these were $1.75, I could have gotten one more bag. <laughs> um, but yeah, I spent everything but $2. So when I think about things that I was like, oh, I wish I would have got that, I have to think, well, what wouldn't I have bought? And I pretty much would have got everything that I ever got. Okay, so then I got this um, little round wire basket with a jar inside. So, of course, you probably put candles in it. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to put in it. I'll probably stick maybe a battery-operated candle or other fun stuff. But I loved the kind of industrial look of that. And then I got this... Um, it's not. It's plastic, but it looks like galvanized metal. It was $2.95. What's the bottom say? Not for decoration, not intended to be used with burning candles. I think that's what it... Yeah. For decoration only, not intended to be used with burning candles. Well, there you go. Not going to be doing that. Um, but I have just had these two sitting together like this. I don't know if this is how I will keep this, but I always like to find little trays and dishes to put under my displays and my decor. It just gives it a little something extra. You ready for your snooze? Okay, well it's time. And then this is the last thing that I bought. 
I got um, in my bag. I didn't know, but they stuck like a little notepad with their name and address and phone number. Um, that's really cute. Aw, that's sweet. We went shopping for small business Saturday. So this is the last thing that I got. Again, if I find anything else in my house, I will for sure film it and I'll let you know. It's this ho 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 sign and it's ceramic, it's heavy. Um, they took the price tag off. I'm not sure how much it was. I think it was, I think it was three or four dollars, but it's got lots of large, um, clear, uh, glitter on it. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but we'll certainly find a spot. So that is everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I enjoy shopping and I can't wait to go put all of this stuff up. Let me know if you had a favorite thing. Let me know if you have any of this stuff because I know... Goodness, Target and Hobby Lobby are all over the place. So anyways, I hope you guys have a really great day and I will chat with you soon. Bye.